Hey guys, Poster here and we finally have a video worth getting excited about. Finally, some solid price action outside of the 30 to 40k range after almost a 3 month wait. Bulls will be relieved to see the bullish breakout as things are looking much better right now. In this video, we are going to take a look at Bitcoin on the weekly, 3 day and 1 day timeframes, discussing what this actually means for the continuation of this bull market and how I will be looking to play this breakout from a mid to long term perspective. If this video is useful, please don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel as I appreciate the support. But without further ado, let's get into it. So as always, starting with the weekly time frame and working our way down, and what we discussed in last week's video was how things were looking much better. We seen a great bounce from the bottom of the range at 29k, but we were still capped at that level of resistance at the range highs around 42k. Now since then we've seen the weekly close just gone above that level which definitely changes things for me at least. We was always waiting for that weekly close as that extra level of confirmation on the higher time frames which is great to see. And the reason why it was so important wasn't just that we've broke out of the range which is significant in itself but because we can see here that we made a low at around 29k on the original drop and then we bounced back and seen a high in the following weeks and we only got to around 41k at them range resistance, uh, the range highs. From there, then we made an equal low or a couple of equal lows. But now this uh, breakout of the range actually means that we've seen a higher high and we see some better looking market structure um, forming on the weekly time frame. So now we've got the higher high. It's all about where we will form this higher, higher low. So in terms of how high this actually goes now, I'm actually firstly, of course, like the macro target is the range, the highs at around 60k. We never seen a weekly close above 60k, that kind of area. So that is always the, the macro target for me. In terms of more short term, I'm looking at this level here at around 49k, where we can potentially see a little bit of resistance. And what I would be looking for here is maybe a little more of a push up towards that 49k area. Then as we drop down, we may see a couple of red weeks where we actually pull back and do a more rounded retest into 42, 40k, that kind of area. Now, is that definitely going to happen? We can't guarantee it when the market's bullish. We've seen on the first leg up back in Jan, Feb time that the market doesn't always give people what they want. So in terms of the probability of this, I will have my bids ready at that 40 to 42k area. I think when price drops or if price drops from 49 to 40k, people will start to panic. You know, it's a 20% dip from the local highs at that point. People will be scared. But really, when you zoom out and look at the bigger picture, things will be a nice rounded. It'll look like a nice rounded retest and the panic will be for those people who, you know, start shouting bear market all over again. But that's what I'm looking for from a macro perspective. Of course, invalidation levels are important. We don't want to ride this into a bear market if this is a fake out and if we drop back into that range that's when i'd be worrying a weekly close back below the range highs wouldn't necessarily be too concerning in that you know we're still potentially going to see a higher low based off uh, 29k you know even if we drop down to 35k 30k even technically it's still a higher low but if price is really bullish at this point we don't want to see us dropping back into that range so that's what i'm looking for there we've got 49k as a short term level of resistance hoping for the rounded retest now this is just because i'm looking to buy more on this retest if it doesn't come we have to have a plan and we have to prepare for what comes next and the next level to buy in but the invalidation level of course weekly close back in the range really no need to go back down there if we are to see some mid-term short-term bullish momentum continuing so some of you will remember this three-day chart from a few weeks back. We haven't looked at it in a little while because there wasn't much significant change. But the reason for using this chart along with the one day and one week uh, chat time frames is just because, you know, the, the, the levels are very clean. It adds an extra level of confluence and we can see what's happening with the three-day closes. And what we actually seen just before this recent move up was that we've seen the lowest um three day closes since heading back into this range. So it didn't look great from that perspective. We swiftly moved up with three very solid uh, green candles. And then we started to consolidate 
just below the range high is the, the 40k resistance. So we tap 37k, but we closed pretty high. Then wicks were very bullish. Fake out just above. But then when we did finally break out on the most recent three-day close, it was a very, very strong looking candle. So in terms of what's next, I think it aligns very nicely with the weekly time frame. We can see here that we could potentially have some resistance at around this 47K high. You know, high 40s, generally speaking, looks like a good place to make a local top. It could be that we moved more towards the body of these candles here, which would be the 49K area, as mentioned in the on the weekly time frame that we've just looked at. So in terms of what we actually look for now, it could be that we make a top anywhere around here and then we just head back down for that higher low. Now we're always going to see higher lows. We're not just going to head straight up forever, you know, realistically. Of course, like we said, people will get scared on this drop down. But I think this looks like a good place again to make a rounded retest and to jump back in. So it could be that we're seeing some resistance now and hopefully, you know, we can get that rounded retest, a great opportunity for entry because we haven't actually seen a retest of this level at around 40.5, 41k uh, cleanly on these higher time frames yet. So that's what I'm looking for next. Um, if we actually were to continue and, and flip this level and hold it and continue, so be it. But in terms of looking at the run that we've seen over the last few weeks, I think the higher low would be welcomed by a lot of people looking at it from a, a technical perspective. I just want to take a quick minute to give a shout out to Prime XBT for sponsoring this video. Prime is an award-winning multi-currency trading platform which allows users to trade a handful of crypto assets such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin and Ripple, but also offers traders access to traditional markets such as Forex, Metals and Oil. You can trade all of these markets whilst using Bitcoin, USDT or USDC as a base currency. The platform has a super clean and customizable UI, as well as built-in charting software to truly make it an all-in-one trading experience. Prime also covers the expected stuff, such as low fees, a variety of order types, and is one of the most recognizable trading platforms in the space. If you want to support myself and my content, please check Prime out and sign up using the link in the description. And if you use the promo code POSTEXBT, you'll also get a 50% deposit bonus on any deposits up to half a Bitcoin. Now let's get back to the video. And now looking at the daily time frame, and we're going to examine what we actually looked at and planned uh, in last week's video. So the scenario that we was looking out for was a higher low at the mid range at around 35, 36K, potential deviation below the level, and then flipping it, reclaiming it, and running up towards these range highs and eventually flipping it with the bullish breakout. Now we have seen something similar but not quite the same and we'll go into this in more detail. You know, we actually looked at last week how we seen the daily close deviation below any other daily close that we'd seen so far in the range and then we seen the same at the flip side at resistance. So we never seen a daily close at 42k fell back into the range, a little bit of deviation before finally breaking out. So nothing's as straightforward as we would like it. You know, that's just part of trading. And what we actually looked at was the potential of a deviation, bit of deviation, bit of a fake out below the level before reclaiming it. Now, bulls were too strong. We don't always get what we want, a clean retest of 36K. But, you know, we got front run on this time. You know, bulls were too strong. 37K was the local bottom, the higher low. And then we pushed on now for a higher high. So decent looking structure, but no opportunity to jump in here at the mid range. And what are we looking at now? So originally what I was looking at was placing some bids after the breakout between 42 and 40K. Now, again, in hindsight, it's very easy to say, but it looks like for the time being, at least this level has been um, front run by the bulls. Now, we've seen a little bit. I've looking always looked at the 200 uh, DMA the 200 daily moving average and this was acting as a level of resistance for no longer than a day or two and then finally we've seen the daily close above it yesterday and it looks like we're flipping that level maybe before the next leg up now so what i'd actually like to see again looking at this next level of resistance we look like we've got a pretty clear path uh, towards that 49k 50k area like we discussed on the weekly great confluence there but in terms of what we actually want to see now it would be re-evaluating once we get there now if we get rejected there it could be that you know we do see that fall back and that rounded retest back towards 42k and have everybody panicking but if we actually flip that level that will be the next level um, of potential entry potential opportunity to get long 
Um, so of course it's not as ideal as buying at 40k why would you buy at 50k when you can buy at 40 or even 45k now but this right now buying right now in the middle of two significant levels would just be complete FOMO and not sticking to the plan so in terms of what I'm looking for now is that rounded retest that we've discussed over and over again in this video at around 42 to 40k or potentially a flip of 50k if this bullish momentum is really strong and if we want to catch a long a little bit higher up. So I've got no problem buying higher. The, the key thing for me at this point is actually just sticking to the plan and being patient. I'm not going to FOMO in now at you know, no real significant level. Yeah, we flipped the 200 DMA, but that alone isn't enough for me. I want to see it with you know in, in confluence with other key levels of uh, support and resistance. So yeah. 40 to 42k entry would be great. My bids remain there for the more rounded retest, or we reevaluate once we get towards that 49, 50k level. And one last thing I want to talk about before wrapping up this video is the potential of a dead cat bounce or a fake out. So a lot of people have actually been talking about this, that it is just a fake out uh, to really trap the bulls before actually heading lower and continuing a potential bear market for a couple of years. And, you know, 60K genuinely, 65K genuinely was the top. And we are going to continue once we have made this um, uh, complacency bounce. So... What I'm actually looking at now is a bullish breakout. We can't deny that we've seen a bullish breakout of this range that we have been sat in for the last couple of months. So in terms of whether this is a fake out or not, you know, it very well could be. But in terms of how we actually play this, I think this is exactly why we have invalidation levels. You know, it could be that we actually see uh, a, a nuke back into the range and we go lower now and then all the bulls get liquidated because they long the breakout. It is possible, you know, we can't rule it out. It is something that we see in trading over and over again. But in terms of how we actually play it, now for me, it's about getting long because the market's telling me to. You know, we've seen decent structure here, higher highs and higher lows starting to form, decent breakout of a range that we've been stuck in for a few months. Uh, and, you know, if we had to drop back into the range, that would be my invalidation. And I'd, I'd just take the L on that one. Um, I think if you always look for the potential flip side of what your trading is telling you, you know, don't take this trade because it could be a dead cat bounce or it could be a fake out, then you're never gonna actually take a trade and you're letting your emotions become involved in your trading. So for me, it's about uh, accepting what the chart is telling me and then just having that invalidation level. You know, if I wasn't to set a stop loss, of course I could get wrecked and it would be disastrous. But for me, you know, if I set my stop loss within the range, um, even potentially if you're really conservative below the most uh, higher low because then if we are to see that drop down here then we are going to form bearish structure again we're going to see a, a, a lower high uh, sorry a lower low followed by a lower high potentially on the retest of that level as resistance um, but right now as far as I'm concerned structure is bullish the market is looking much more bullish and for me it's about a game it's a game of probabilities right we long when we are told to long from the chart and if we are faked on, so be it. We may lose a little bit of money, but our risk management will prevent us from being completely wrecked. So that is it for this one. It is safe to say that I am now bullish after seeing the breakout of the dreaded range. The plan over the last few months never changed. I was always sitting on my hands and being patient until we seen some significant price action above 40k or below 30k. The positive for me was being able to take my foot off the pedal and make the most of summer during the last couple of months as I wasn't really interested in forcing trades in the choppy conditions. Uh, the start of 2021 was pretty intense when it comes to the crypto markets so the break was welcome but now that we've seen this breakout of the range I'm now looking at this as the start of a new uptrend or the continuation of the bull market and unless we are invalidated by falling back into the range I will be sticking with this view. As always, I greatly appreciate your support. Please do drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Comment below with your thoughts on whether you think that the bull market is back in full swing. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.